Good evening. Those people posting fake rental listings on Craigslist are now turning to new tactics to gain the trust of people looking to find a place. Yeah, Kia and TV Forest Jeremy Lee uncovered how scammers are using other people's stolen identities. And Jeremy, how does this tactic work? Well, Mika, hopefully it doesn't work, but you wouldn't believe how aggressive the approach can be. Those looking to make a quick buck from fake online rental ads aren't a new phenomena, but as I found out firsthand, posters these days may go to extra lengths to convince you they're legitimate. The rental in the Craigslist post looks like a deal. Free parking in Waikiki, a one-bedroom condo a block from the beach at $50 a night. The person who posted the offer told me in a text there was no time to view the property but I must send in a deposit to hold the room. That was red flag number one. Number two, the poster texted me this photo ID saying, here's a copy of my ID as proof he was legit, but the man in the ID has never posted a condo rental on Craigslist. I had gotten one message on LinkedIn from a lady who said, hey, are you legit uh, renting condos? And I said, no. That message John Lorian received last month startled him. Hi, confirming here if you are renting condos in Honolulu or if someone is using your ID to do that. The woman later revealed John's ID had been sent to her via an 808 cell number. It's the same 808 number that asked me to rush over a deposit using PayPal or the app Zelle. John says he made a mistake of sending a picture of his ID when he was looking to rent a place Memorial Day for a small gathering. They sent me a picture of their driver's license and said, hey, can you respond back and make sure you're legit? And I was like, okay, all right, here's my license. And, and then there was just like little things after that that didn't really add up, weird uh, ways of phrasing things or spelling things that made me think I was, you know, maybe it wasn't somebody that was in the United States. John didn't hand over any money, he says, but the photo of the ID is now out there. The ad currently posted by the account using John's ID misclassifies the Waikiki rental under the Big Island, has occasional errors in grammar. I was texted to see if I was sending the requested money at 546 in the morning. John isn't the only one misrepresented here in Hawaii. Harrison Beecher is a real estate agent in Washington, D.C., who has been contacted by others about fake postings coming up under his name. Because it's a part of my business to be verified, and I do have an established and updated presence on pretty much every social media channel. And that presence is being used by another poster for this one bedroom in Waikiki at an unrealistic $870 a month who replied to me using Beecher's name when I inquired. That was back in October of 2021. Someone claiming to be Beecher tried to get me to sign up for a paid credit report. But each time I resisted, the correspondence went cold. The imposter put up another fake post as recent as 28 days ago. It's a game of numbers. You know, they do it enough times. Um, unfortunately, some people that think it's legit enough will give that deposit amount or will give that application fee. And that's why they do it, because um, they just they fish. And don't get reeled in by somebody demanding electronic cash payments. Both men who had their ID stolen had not filed a police report. One of them told me it seems unlikely anything useful would come out of it. But Honolulu Crime Stoppers recommends that a police report is filed for documentation purposes. Identity theft is a federal crime. The FBI recommends complaints be filed at the website ic3.gov. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.